So the city of Denver, Colorado, announcing it will pay some homeless people up to $1,000 a month over the next year using funds from the American Rescue Plan. That was passed back in March of 2021. Here to talk about it, Denver radio host Ross Kaminsky. Ross, good morning to you and welcome back to our program. How's this, how's this going to work, first of all? Explain this. Well, good morning. Thanks for having me. So the Denver City Council, like you said, has allocated a couple million bucks from COVID money. They're going to create three groups. It's actually part of a larger program, and Denver is kicking in another, another two million. One group, like you said, going to get a thousand a month. Another group is going to get, I think, it's sixty five hundred dollars up front, uh, and then five hundred dollars a month. And then another group, their control group, is going to get fifty dollars a month. The interesting part of this that I think maybe we can talk about more is that this the Denver City Council is saying they only want their money to go to women and transgender and gender nonconforming homeless people, no men. Okay, well, is it, sorry, that, that's what the city council wants. Will the city council get its wish? Or is the yes, mayor- Yes, they will, for their part. They, yes, they, wow. def- they will. Okay, so right now you have 2,100 female homeless, 3,400 male. And uh, I've, I've got seven gender non-conforming and six trans men. I don't even know how they got, I don't know how they got these numbers, Ross. I, I don't know either. And nationally, though, um, as you, similar to the data you just showed, women are about 29% of homeless, transgender, gender non-conforming, about 1%. And I find it kind of frustrating, separate from the, the moral hazard part of this, that they're going to leave out 70% of the population. And I just mean that not from an equity perspective, but just from data collection. You want to see if this kind of program is going to work. And it's entirely possible that men would respond to a program like this differently from women. And yet you're going to cut them out, even though they're 70 percent and you're just not going to learn very much. And that really bugs me. Again, separate from the moral hazard, which is a big problem. As you point out, this is COVID dollars. Amazing how far that can go and what you can do with it once you get control of it. Uh, Interesting stuff. What do they want to accomplish? Well, I think, so Denver has a huge homeless problem. Colorado generally has a huge homeless problem. In the last 15 years or so, Colorado has had the biggest percentage increase of any state in terms of number of people living in homeless shelters and things like that. And if you're, you know, around here when Dana's back in her hometown, uh, there's tents everywhere and it's a really bad situation and they're trying to make it better. But I think part of the problem, and I've got sympathy for a lot of these folks, but part of the problem is at some point, you turn this safety net that's supposed to catch people when they're falling into a hammock that folks want to come lounge around in. And I think San Francisco and Seattle have taught us that you can go too far in offering something that looks like help. And I I think that's what Denver has been doing for quite a while. And I think they're doing it more here. Wow. Ross, we're going to bring you back and see how it works out. Thanks for having me. We'd like to know, huh? You know, free money, it's... UBI, right? <laughs> Universal basic income to a degree, Ross. Thank you for coming well, on. Well, that's actually what they're calling it. Yeah. Well, thanks for coming on. We'll bring you back, okay? Thank you. Thanks for having me, Bill. Okay.